Joining us today to discuss his passion for gaming as well as his recent journey in esports is owner of Glow Navy, Chief Keefe. Thank you so much for joining us today. So talk to us about your personal journey within esports. How did you even get involved and started? Okay, yeah, so I've been gaming since I was like uh, seven years old, so ever since I was a kid, I had like Playstations and stuff like that, and Panasonics and Segas, and I uh, grew up and took it more serious, especially by being in the house trying to stay out of trouble, you know, um, playing a game, getting more serious and, and about gaming, um, yep. And there's a lot of, it, and plus I want people to know that you can, you know, have fun playing a game. You know, because parents don't, a lot of parents think like, uh, you know, their kids should be, be playing a game. Nowadays, you're getting paid off that. You need to make a living off that stuff. Were there certain games, specific games, that really got you into the competitive scene? Was it like a, a fighting game like Mortal Kombat? Was it Call of Duty? Which which one really it got you into the esports side? It was Injustice 2. Injustice 2? What about that game, yeah. like, really got you into the, the FGC side, the fighting game side? Um, the characters actually, once I saw the turtles, I was geeked up. <laughs> yeah, so really the characters uh, pulled me in with that game. They all of them, um, characters they got like Batman and Harley Quinn, stuff like that. My daughter showed me that game actually though. And ever since she showed me, I was playing and I got into, I got into that stuff like that. Cause at first I played like only GTA, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, and COD, GTA and COD. Then I switched it over to fighting games, and Justice, Mortal Kombat, stuff like that. Okay, mm -hmm. and then with that switch, you also now own Glow, or you're CEO of Glow Navy Gaming. What inspired you to even make your own team, and how has it been growing it as an organization? Um, I did that to bring uh, my fans closer, and um. I don't know. I started off by just get going in parties on Xbox with, my, with the fans and just clicking with them and talking to them and stuff. And then I ended up doing a, you know, Glow Navy gaming and it became a family and, you know, and it grew a lot too. So still growing right now. But yep. It started off by me just wanting to bring fans closer, you know, get them a way to, um, you know, um, chill with me, you know. Mm -hmm. Instead of like releasing my number or number or you know email, let them come to like parties, Xbox parties and stuff. We talk, play the game, play a couple games online, stuff like that. That's why I started it though. So how are you able to transition those fans over into letting them kind of enter into your world and let them know that you love video games and you want them to be a part of whatever you're doing with video games as well? How are you able to transition them from your music over into gaming? Um, you right though. Um, actually, I don't know. I think they just already mess with me as a person. So, plus they might love gaming as much as I do. So, it's just click. So you have an event coming up on uh, December thirteenth. Talk to us more about that and what will it entail and what can fans expect when they are either attending or watching the event. What is the bang game tournament? Is at Thunder Long Beach. Um, twenty five hundred uh, prize. Um, yeah, it's coming. It's coming up a couple days, like two, three days. Friday, Friday. Um, I know it's gonna be crazy too, though, especially because I got a lot of people tomorrow. They coming and stuff like that. And ask me about tickets and the airports and all that. It's crazy though. But um, yeah, though, it's gonna be at a nice spot too. Like crazy gaming place, got game monitors everywhere, stage with the big gaming monitor. It's crazy. Well, you know, as an artist and entrepreneur, you know, how is it for you to be known as one of the early artists that have really entered into this scene? You know, when we talk about gaming, right, especially when it comes to hip hop and gaming, your name's brought up. Uh, even uh, Lupe Fiasco's name's brought up. There's a lot of different people whose names are brought up. So, how does it feel to be kind of at the pinnacle? of hip-hop and gaming. Now that we're seeing a lot more acts from hip-hop that are trying to get into esports. Uh-huh. Um, actually, I don't know. Because um, both of them, I, I, you know, I do it with, like, uh, like I love doing both of them, music and gaming, actually. 
So when I'm not doing music, I'm doing gaming. When I ain't doing gaming, I'm doing music most likely. So um, to be at, at the top of both, like for people to be saying my name when it comes to hip hop and when it comes to gaming, it'd be crazy because it's like, I don't know. That's what I want anyways. That's what, you know, that's what it's all about too. Motivate them on both sides, gaming and music, you know, so, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, we're starting to see a lot of people that want to be known for gaming now, especially because we're in, in kind of like an environment where it's it's now a really, really cool thing for people yep. to be into gaming compared to maybe before. Um, so let's talk about video games more specifically, right? Modern Warfare, now people who have PCs can play with those who are on PlayStation and Xbox. So what do you think about the cross-play uh, capabilities? Um, I like it, actually. I like how you're able to play different systems. I think they should have been did that. Well, we're here now, but yeah, though. Um, I actually have my stuff in. I have it enabled all the time. I don't never disable cross-play. I like cross-play because I really play Xbox. So I, I do like the cross-play instead of playing all Xbox, you know. You get to play PC and PlayStation against Xbox, so that's crazy. I think that's dope, actually, for them to do that. And how does this how does this crossplay functionality also kind of assist with the growth of your Glow Navy, right? Because you have content creators. I believe one of the members already hit 100,000 subscribers. You have those yep. who compete. So how do you see how crossplay and cloud-based gaming, how that's going to impact the industry, as well as also impact your team, too? I mean, it's better because you never know. A person might not have an Xbox. He might have a PlayStation, or he might not have neither one. He might have a PC. And it might be your friend, or he might be with Glow Navy. And it's like, it give you a chance. It give you a way to play. Your, you know, your favorite game with each other. So say of Call of Duty, all our favorite game, we get to play it together, even if we on all different systems, PC, Xbox, uh, PS4. No matter what, we can play on the um, same game. We can play the same game together, you know. So that's what make it dope, though. Oh, yeah, no, definitely make it dope. And that's the great thing about Modern Warfare now is that the speed of the game allows console gamers to compete against PC gamers. And also in the mm -hmm. industry, we're seeing mobile gaming being another component that's being added in. Would you potentially Indeed. look at creating a team that will compete with mobile gaming, or do you have one currently for it? Actually, uh, no, nah, we don't. That's the crazy part. I don't think we do. Um, you're right, though. I might. I might do that. Because uh, we just do, like, a PC and console. We play PC and console. I don't really know nobody who played a mobile out the game, mobile um, game and stuff. I know they play, like, A-ball, but that's about it, though. I know Kai just dropped a mobile gaming thing, though, too, a, a game on mobile. So maybe they do play that stuff. I ain't tried it out yet. Well, maybe that's an industry that you want to get into for Glow Navy. I mean, it's expanding the U.S. True. It's very prevalent over in the Asian market. So there's an impact that you can make. Now, speaking of impact, right, at the end of the day, you told me that when it came to the crossover with music and gaming, you wanted to be where fans could just come together and also get to know you better. But what uh -huh. kind of lasting impact do you want to make within the esports and gaming world overall? Um, I just want them to, you know, um... I want them to see my shorties, my boys, because, you know, they, they actually good at those games and they really know how to be competitive and all that. So I want them to, um, you know, see us too up there with all the big names and stuff like that in eSports. So, yeah, Glow Navy. Oh, yeah, Glow Navy all day. Now, before you go, we've asked Snoop Dogg this question. We asked various celebrities this question. If you could play, let's... Let's do Mortal Kombat because I know that's one of your favorite games. If you could play a rapper or celeb and go head to head against them on Mortal Kombat, who would it be and why? <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who? Uh, yeah, I'll be fighting Yachty. He don't. He, I don't know. I only fought a couple of people, but the only person that really act like he could beat me really though was Juice World. That's the crazy thing about it. Juice World act like he really could beat me. Like he was telling me, like, but we never played, though. We never got a chance to play the game, play that Mortal Kombat stuff together. But he always act like, you know, he could play, too. So, I mean, that's why I did want to play. I had my intentions on playing Juice, you know. Was there, but, a, specific, uh, was there a specific game that he wanted to play with you? Uh, he wanted in? to play Mortal Kombat. Really? Yeah. 
He was telling me he beat me at Mortal Kombat 11. I'm telling him, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, you can't. We never got around to doing it. We yeah. just doing music and stuff like that. We didn't get around to playing up games and stuff like that. But, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Are, are you, are, what, what, what character do you like to use in Mortal Kombat? Like, who's your main one? Sonya. Going straight to Sonya when I cut, when I cut the game on. If I, the first person I'm going to fight with is her. Sonya, because I got all, every move that with her down packed. That's just the first one. I play with like six to ten people. Really ten people though, yeah, ten people. So it's probably like 20 on the list. So I play with half of the lineup. All right. Sounds know. like you're sounds like my versatile. Yeah, I am though, actually. Yeah, to be able to play with that many characters and memorize all the stuff. Yeah. Brutalities, fatalities and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the combo sequence is crazy. But, guys, if you want to follow the rest of Chief Keef's gaming journey, head on over to Twitter at Chief Keef, and also make sure you head on over to at GlowNavyGG. Chief Keef, thank you so much for coming on. We got to get you, we got to have you come back after your event at some point. Oh, yeah. Will do. Just set it up. We there. All thank right. you all for having me. No problem.